Yo, Yankees fans, yet again, it is Felix from M1News.com. Like always, hola, como estas? For a second time today, hola, como estas? Overload. Me no speaky espanol. Yankees fans, I am coming back because, 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 I, I just feel it. Manny Machado is going to be a Yankee. The Yankees have plans if they pick up Manny Machado to keep Mr. Miguel Andujar, and rightfully so. He's young, he produces, and Voight really would be a great bench player. I don't see Voight, sure I could see Voight as an everyday player, but as a bench player, that's a deadly guy to have on your bench. So Yankees fans, Andy Martino of the SNY channel, network, whatever you want to call it, in my honest opinion, they do better work than the Yes Network guys. Not to diss the Yes Network guys, they do great work, but SNY, they're for, in my opinion, superior to the Yes Network. So Andy Martino just put out that the Yankees are keeping close tabs with Manny Machado, hoping that Manny doesn't like the offers he's getting, and they're waiting for Manny Machado to check back with the Yankees. Specifically, according to Andy Martino, the Yankees keep checking in on Manny Machado, per sources, close to Martino. So, MLB insiders have been saying, hey, if Manny Machado doesn't get the contract that he wants, he might settle for less playing for the Yankees. You have heard it from me numerous times. I even told you guys, the Yankees are not out on Manny Machado. A lot of people owe me an apology, by the way. I was being attacked saying, Felix, you're delusional. The Yankees are out. Oh, Hector Martinez said the White Sox are the favorites. The Yankees are nowhere to be found. They're out. Yeah, sure. I've been really the only one online that has stated repeatedly and have held my ground saying that the Yankees were not out on Manny Machado, and you're seeing that they're not out on Manny Machado. That's hilarious. I said Hector Martinez. I mean Hector Gomez. Yankees fans, I don't know about you guys, but I think it's close. I think Manny Machado's decision is close. I mean, like I keep telling you guys, his family lives about 30 minutes away from Yankee Stadium. Primarily, like 80% of his family members live in the tri-state area. I can't give the precise location because people might stalk them, but they're 30 minutes away from Yankee Stadium. And no, not by walking by car. I could just see uh, White Sox fans picking up Google Maps and trying to figure out the coordinates. So they could uh, stalk uh, Manny Machado's family like they have stalked numerous Yankees fans. Trust me, I have been harassed by uh, plenty of White Sox fans this offseason. I didn't even know they existed before this offseason started. Here, let me tell Yankees fans this and Major League Baseball fans this. Manny Machado and the Yankees were just meant to be. The Yankees have always liked Manny Machado. They have even hyped him up on their telecast. We all saw Manny Machado as a rookie. Oh, this guy's going to be great. The next Alex Rodriguez. The protege of Alex Rodriguez. Someday, we all knew Manny Machado would be, let's say, the heir of Alex Rodriguez in the Bronx. Also, in my previous video, I said, hey, if the Red Sox fall out on Kimbrough, they're going to have at least 25 to $35 million to play with. And if they want to sign Harper long term, they can because they're going to have a whole bunch of free agents in 2020. It just makes sense. Again, if they fall out on Kimbrough, they're going to have to trade or sign a reliever. My opinion is they're going to trade for one. So they're going to trade position players anyway, even if they fall out on Kimbrough. So this means that the possibility of them landing a Harper is not far-fetched. If or when the Yankees sign Manny Machado, the Red Sox might answer the Yankees back by signing Bryce Harper if they fall out on Duck Dynasty Kimbrough. That's just my opinion. It's not far-fetched. So Yankees fans, I just feel it. I think Manny Machado is coming to the Bronx. The Yankees haven't had a big con press conference yet, and they're just waiting for Manny Machado to come to the Bronx. And now we're learning that the Yankees would keep Andohar? Wow. It feels like Christmas has come back yet again. 
But Felix, how dare you discriminate? I am a Buddhist. We don't celebrate Christmas. <laughs> I know. I Literally, I get comments like that on my channel sometimes. And even in my Facebook messages. Some person called me a racist because they thought I preferred Manny Machado to other players just because Manny Machado's Dominican. Can you believe that? So, Yankees fans, yet again, leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from M1News.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time. Before it hits the front page.